Where are we going? We're about to go movies or not? Do not take your kids to watch this movie! I like magic. What the fuck did we just watch? Half of the fucking movie is about the Joker. Uh huh? But uh, but yeah, it's a decent movie. Hey guys, Run and Chain. So I just got back from watching Only the Brave, Joseph Kaczynski's uh, news film based on the true story of the Granite Mountain hotshots. Um, if you guys don't know, and the, again, this film taught me a lot of new stuff about uh, firefighters, was that the hotshots are basically the Navy SEALs of firefighters, an elite team that um, are the first ones to engage on big wildlife fires or just overall big fire uh, uh, um, situations. And uh, I don't want to spoil too much of the film, but and uh, as someone who didn't do research because it's based on a true story, I didn't want to know about it. I wanted to go see the film. I say go watch this film. It is a good film. Uh, I know people are mixed with Joseph Kaczynski's uh, run in, in films, but I two films that I've seen of his, which is The Tron Legacy and Oblivion, I know people generally don't like them or they just like the visuals or whatnot um there's i don't want to say the guilty pleasures but i just like eh, not the worst film in the world but at the same time they're not big ones and i i'll you know I'll, they're watchable for me and there's great moments in them that i would you know i, I don't like really dig in them this film no actor dropped the ball in my opinion um Josh Brolin, Miles Teller, Jeff Bridges, Jennifer Connelly, James Batchdale, Taylor Kish. Uh, those are just the main leads, but this film is so, something to applaud true heroes that uh, do protect us and risk their lives every day to protect uh, people, community, and wildlife. And um, the, 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 I know people are, are really like this film and there's just some stuff that they didn't like, whether it be dialogue or some uh, emotional parts that weren't earned and I get that stuff for me. Uh, what was, because it's an emotional film, what was uh, powerful about the film was that you saw what they went through as uh, hot, hot shots, as firefighters, you, you saw what they went through. Uh, the climate they were around, the tools that they used, the brotherhood between them, you you, you, you felt it and you believed it and uh, it was it was cool to see these guys work together and look out for each other under extreme circumstances. But then you see their uh, uh, personal lives and that's what, what broke, you know, like got me emotional at, at points because of every time they would be with the families and then they go back to firefighting, you... As someone who didn't do research on the true story, I was just like, oh man, I hope they make it back in time for the families. I hope he can m meet her daughter or spend time with his wife or, or, or see his boys again. This film, uh, it did that with, with a lot of uh, moments. Uh, what's cool about it is that it's this team that, at first they're not hot shots. It's something that you have to earn a title. Uh, and up to a point and I'll tell it that they earned the title of hot shots. They have been training for years, know the routines, up and down, left and right, and it's just about game verification and throughout the first half of the film, they're put through different scenarios and towards the middle they earn it. They spend time with it and they now earn that legend of being amazing firefighters led by uh, Jock Rowan's character, Eric Marsh, and who, with his captain, played by James Batchdale as Jesse Steed, they are true badasses. And then comes along Miles Teller's character, who's Brendan McDonough, um, who at first is a drug addict, but then realizes that he, uh, uh, with a previous girlfriend of his, is pregnant, is going to become a father, and has a, a little girl. He decides to team up with, with the, the, the hot shots and earn his way into recovering himself and joining the, this, this group of, of brotherhood. He does that and it was very, it was it was cool to see this man who was low and then become part of something big was, was an awesome thing to, to see. 
And, um, I don't want to spoil too much stuff, but let's just say that the way they, they show how people handle the, the, the hot shot specifically, handle the relationship between their personal life and their work, and how their families handle their own personal lives with the, the men that, that, that go and fight the fires, how they handle their, their personal lives and how they handle it when, while they're busy. And it was really a pull string. Like, it ripped you apart, brought you back in. Ripped you apart, brought you back in. And um, I get the, the minor Nick Pickies or the big Nick Picky things that people still enjoy this film. But have Nick I get it. But for me, what worked was just the scenes, the moments that Eric Marsh was talking to Brendan McDonald. Eric Marsh was talking to his wife, played... Amazingly, incredibly, by Jennifer Connelly, Amanda Marsh. Um, you you see the moments when uh, Eric Marsh and Duane Steinbrink, played by the great Jeff Bridges, chemistry of, uh, of best friend, father figure goes back and forth, and the the, the first like they re they not repulse, they just dislike each other and characters and you know the characters that Miles Teller and. Taylor Kish play and Brendan and McDonough and uh, Christopher McKenzie. And then you see that they become close and they become friends and then they come close to brothers as they as they ever been. Those moments work for me and really shine something uh, powerful thing with me. And um, it's sort of these films that like I'm like, Visually, I, li I like to be reminded that there's there's good people in the world. That even though there's dark times ahead of right now, or we live in dark times, there's good people, and there are real superheroes, and that these guys are some of the the, the many. And um, I go watch this film. It is it is a, it is a, you should definitely go see this film. Um, I think Jeff Josh Brolin, someone said it from the cast said that that once seen this film, well, you'll want to wave a little bit longer to firefight whenever you see one. I kind of have that feeling of just like I salute you or, or, or Captain, my Captain, Bravo for what you do. I appreciate it. And someone who's lived half their life in Arizona, it hit home a little bit because yes, I am from 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 Los Angeles, but. Arizona has is part of my life, half of my life. So this hit home because it's like, wow, like it's astonishing. This this story is astonishing about remarkable uh, man. But yes, definitely go check it out. Um, I would give it a seven and a half, eight out of ten. I agree, disagree, agree with the nitpicky things that people have with it, or I don't know the majority of the people who I, I seek for uh, uh, opinions. But yes, that's my review for Only the Rave, which you should go check out. If you guys like the review, hit the like button, subscribe for more content, post in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.